what happens now in the next two quarters, seniors is your legacy. It's what you're going to leave behind going on here. Okay? You can either leave, I tried as hard as I could, and then I just kind of gave up, or you can leave, I gave it everything I had, I grabbed my brother, I trusted my brother, he believed in me, and I'm going to sell that to next year's team. And that team's going to sell that to the next year's team. Build your legacy right now. What are you going to leave here for this program for next year? What are you going to put down in the ground as your flag for what you did this year? As corny as it sounds, uh, embrace every minute of it because it does go fast. And when I was in their position, I was like, eh, whatever. I mean, it's taken forever. And now that's over, I'm, that's probably my biggest regret is not savoring every minute as, as much as I did. Family of three turn up on six. That just it brought us together and that those little things, we are a family. Just stay with it, um, stay committed, because uh, it, it'll all be worth it in the end. Even if it doesn't seem like now, even if as a sophomore, junior, you're not getting to play a lot, stay with it, it you, it'll all be worth it. I really believe that this senior class um, has left its mark on DC Harvest football in, in that uh, in terms of, of what it takes to be successful, the effort that has to be put in, the, the, the time uh, commitment that it takes, um, I think that's all something that the senior class uh, understood. Um, I think they, uh, they, they bought into that um, and I think that's something that the junior class, next year's senior class, uh, is going to pick up on and is, is going to take with them. Here comes the kick. It is back to the 10-yard line, picking it on the run is Andrew Baranowski. Back to the center of the field, got a block right up the middle. Baranowski busts into the clear, just the kicker to beat. And he does beat the kicker, being chased. He'll be caught from behind on a big return. Here's a fake to the up man. The Evergreens are going to have a first down. Turning it up across the corner to the 20, down to the 10, still going. The fake has scored for the Evergreens, Derek Masunas. Again, Yoda with two backs behind him, he will throw here. Good protection, lost to one-on-one -on -one coverage, got a man, it's caught at the 30, 20, 10, touchdown, Evergreens! The Evergreens roll the dice and the Evergreens get themselves into the end zone. A 68-yard touchdown pass, Kenny Yoder to Caleb Schuster. Just play for the people around you, not mostly, not for yourself. Be selfless. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, senior year, wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, it, it, those big intimidating guys are, you know, they're family. And um, it's, that's really, I think, the magic of the process is um, going from a scared little kid, you know, get, getting in the weight room, working, and becoming really a family of those guys. I think they're going to miss putting on the pads every day. I think they're going to miss coming in the locker rooms and you know talking with your friends after school and you know what what's going on after the games and all that sort of stuff. Those are the things that I still remember. Those are things that I still get get you know get pumped up about is when kids are trying to compete in a game. Um, but I still have those memories of running out on the field at Steam Stadium. Look at the the opportunities you had to build relationships, friendships with your, with, you know, guys that, you know, might not have the opportunity to be the friends, your friends for the rest of your life and look back at those good times and, and those relationships you built and the good times that you had and whether it was in the games or practices or whatever. So that, that's really the thing that, that's what makes high school athletics. It's not necessarily the, the wins and losses you forget about, but the relationships, the friendships you build with, with your, your teammates, those, those will last a lifetime.
Good protection this time. Receiver almost fell down. Catches, bobbles the ball. That's a catch and a fumble. The Evergreens have picked it up. Streaking down the sideline. They're going to bring this back to the house. 30, 20, and down at the 10-yard line. No question about it. A catch and a fumble. Hitch to Bolkowski. A lot of room on the corner. The Evergreens are going to have to make a defensive adjustment there. He lost the football. And the Evergreens have recovered. He's got himself a first down at the 10. The ball came free, and the Evergreens are on top of it back at the five-yard line. At the 23, a pitch. Reisman will throw on the option. He's got a man all alone downfield. The Evergreens open with a trick play and a touchdown, Evergreens. Jagger Reisman to Caleb Schuster. Schuster didn't have anyone within 15 or 20 yards. Big pullback is in there. Owen Zarkowski got a pass here. Good protection one-on-one -on -one to the end zone. Lofty ball intercepted by the Evergreens. The Evergreens got underneath that and took that away. Ethan Ostrowski. Zarkowski under center will West blitz. A late blitz. It's picked up. Thrown to one-on-one -on -one coverage. Got a receiver there. It's completed the 15. Tiptoeing along the sidelines and into the end zone is Alex Langseth. In motion, handoff, second man through. There's a hole up the middle. Tanner Fowler. Fowler's into the clear. Busts it to the 20, to the sidelines. He's going to take it to the house. The Evergreens will take the lead. Tanner Fowler, crafty again. Had it up the middle and then busted it to the outside. And there he goes. I really believe that they would do anything for the program and anything for each player individually. If um, like if any of us needed help, I really think that all of us would jump to help them. At least that's how I feel. Um, throughout the years, I feel like we've really gotten to know each other. And I really just hope that we set a good example for the underclassmen that are coming through this. The only regrets you're ever going to have in life are is when you don't give your best effort. You can always look back and say, hey, I shoulda, I coulda, but you didn't. So if you can go look back and say, I gave it my best effort, I put everything I had, I slept well, I ate well, I did well in school, I treated people with respect, and I gave them everything I had on the field, you're going to have no regrets. How does this one end? A 43-yard try. Three seconds remaining in the game. Here's the snap. Kick is down to the uprights. It has the distance, but it hits the goal post. No good. The gods of deflection shine on the Evergreens. Zeros on the clock. And Wausau West loses this game by inches. A 43-yard attempt to tie the game. Bounced off the uprights. And ding! The Evergreens ring the bell. Congratulations to the DC Everest Evergreens. They hold on to beat Walsall West.